أبادغيهن يا غدا غدو يا إذا غبر هن يا غاهيني الشامة بس وادا السيبة تقول ولي في الناس فانيا بي جيروسو جان دومني فانا كاقل فان بي كاقل On today's Enlightening Entertainment, we present excerpts from the insightful environmental documentary Climate Chaos in the South, the victim's story directed by the gifted and caring filmmaker Meneer Hirt de Belder from Belgium. The film presents the heart-rending reality of people to whom climate change impacts are real and now. It has been praised for its unique way of highlighting the human side of the story. And it's the poor people of the world who are particularly vulnerable to the effects of the weather. You don't just emit carbon dioxide into the air. You lose livelihoods for the poor. Regarding the film, Tanika Dehaza, a photographer for Oxfam, commented, the testimonies force you to take it seriously. The situation is clearly shocking, even without showing pictures of catastrophes. Derek Hendricks from the Belgian newspaper Gazette van Antwerpen wrote, a film for all who still doubt and for those who want to see the damages of climate change. With clarifications by experts and testimonies and pictures leaving a lasting impression, highly recommended. Maybe in the developed countries, you are just reading the books and looking at the television and seeing what will happen, but it has already happened. When we had the idea of making the movie on the impact of climate change on the people in the South, we didn't actually realize uh, the whole problem. I went to a conference on the climate change and especially the impact on the South and I was shocked on this conference to notice how large the problem was, how big the impact already was and was going to be. I didn't know that before. Around three billion people living in developing countries are facing immediate and most severe human costs due to climate change. As the film shows, these vulnerable communities are often helpless to adapt or to prevent the crisis. The idea of the movie was to confront people in the north with the victims of the so-called civilization. I could only hope that people who were confronted with, with a real face behind a fact or a figure, that uh, they would be moved by uh, hearing the story and um, hopefully change their lifestyle. Meneer de Belder's documentary was made in collaboration with more than 10 non-governmental organizations or NGOs who helped him meet the climate change victims who were willing to share their stories. The making of the film led to a journey to four of the worst hit countries, Burkina Faso and Togo in Africa, Ecuador in South America and Bangladesh in Asia. They testify to the fast increasing havoc that they face daily as a result of climate change. Normal, pero porque estamos viviendo una sequía que no es normal, porque estamos todavía en, en épocas de meses de lluvia. Hasta mayo se extiende en no, inviernos normales la lluvia. Así que ahora estuvieron en plena producción. Este maíz que ustedes pueden ver aquí debería estar ya con la mazorca, ¿no es cierto?, de maíz ya formada. Pero ustedes se dan cuenta que está ya perdido. Está perdido. Y de estos hay, se multiplican miles y miles de agricultores sobre este mismo fenómeno, ¿no? We wanted to have these particular stories to make the facts into persons and into real uh, experiences. Many of the farmers we interviewed, they didn't know about climate change. Yes, they did know, of course, they knew climate had been changing since a few decennia, but they had 
absolutely no idea where it was coming from and or or that it was a global phenomenon director Hirt de Belder knew that it was also important to present not only the individual's personal stories but also a larger and objective perspective thus he interviewed a number of prominent climate experts such as British climate expert Lord Nicholas Stern and French glaciologist Bernard Francou Most of the experts are people in, in the south, experts from NGOs, uh, from the government, from the United Nations, from the north. The experts give the large scale of climate change and, and its impact, uh, things which the, the, the victims don't know. We needed the experts to make the spectators clear that uh, things are happening on a large scale. Uh, le nombre de victimes uh, potentielles ou de personnes affectées en tout cas par l'effet des changements climatiques sur les ressources en eau par exemple se chiffre en centaines de millions, uh, peut-être un milliard de personnes uh, qui risquent d'être affectées dans leur vie quotidienne, uh, dans, dans le, la qualité et la quantité de l'eau disponible. When we return, we'll find out more about the awakening documentary, Climate Chaos in the South, The Victim's Story, through candid comments from the director, Menir Hirt de Belder. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. Welcome back to today's program about the environmental documentary Climate Chaos in the South, The Victim's Story, a World Mediathek production directed by Belgium director Hirt de Belder. With a balance between victims' testimonies and expert insights, this original film delivers a convincing message to viewers. The message of the film is climate is already changing, that there are many victims already that there will be more and more and more. It's going to be a disaster that's overshadowing all other uh, kinds of disasters or wars you could imagine. The documentary is divided into named chapters, such as agriculture in decline, fresh water, a scarcity, life warms up, and disasters on the up about how the quality of life, including aspects of health and even survival, are impacted. There is also a section called Sea Levels Continue to Rise and No Choice But to Flee, which zooms in on the individuals who are on the verge of becoming a climate refugee. And we know that the coastal areas, about millions of people are living there, maybe 20, 30 million people are living there. What will happen to these people? Amra ar bish bos or tirish bos or ei je mati the boshat je mati the amra thakte parbo. Eta long long time jodi hai tirish hai tirish bos or ei je ami bosho bosh kor. Eir por nischi the amra thakte parbo na. Eir to nischi. Tale ei jaga ami hota sa. Hota sa je amra ei deshe dar thakbo na. Kintu ei kotha da apna der kase je kotha da bolchi ei kotha da ami shadaron manushir kase kotha bolte pare. I can tell you that I have uh, had emotional difficulties uh, lots of times. Uh, in Bangladesh, for instance, uh, people in Bangladesh are so beautiful, beautifully clothed and, and so sympathetic. When a woman is talking that, that she lost uh, her kids in, in a cyclone, uh, which are more 
and, and heavier than, than, than ever. It's not easy for, to sit there as a, as a part of the North. Eh? Pani Urse, Pani Te Potai Zabu. Amar Duite Basa Sili Akta Dosh Basso, Akta Pas Basso. E Duite Basa Ni Ami Purishu De Mela Kursi. Heshme Ite Human Pani. Shey Yabdas Hotar Pore Heidi Pani Urse Horote Amra Tine Mai Ko Heidi Ke Kuri Gisi. Kuri Zar Pore Amar Horo Basa Da Ata Kono Suti Gese. Aar Dosh Basso Di Meo Suti Gese. But the film also concludes with hope giving directions with constructive sections titled Adapting Out of Necessity and Mitigation is Prevention. I was so happy when the last interview we did on the last journey that was Bangladesh, uh, it was uh, someone from the United Nations, a climate expert, and he said, Yes, it is the fault of the North. Uh, they are to blame, but they didn't do it on purpose. I put it in the film also, this, this uh, fragment, because that's a, a, a nuance that's very important, I think. We are not really to blame, but yes, it's up to us to correct this. In order to correct the far-reaching problem we as humankind have caused, Mr. De Belder urges more and immediate action. The more adaptation and mitigation, the less suffering. Mitigation is, uh, is a big effort. We, we find that's a big effort to take the train instead of the car. I prefer the car. You know, you have to do all kinds of things that are not so pleasant as before to save energy. But adaptation, which is the second thing to be done, will ask still much more efforts than mitigation and it will cost lots more money and there are many things we can do we, uh, on, on the um, transport side or energy saving side that's one thing that, that has been stressed by uh, governments etc but there is one thing still more important the methane eh? uh, which is caused by the uh, large-scale uh, livestock breeding uh, worldwide, uh, so it's even more important to stop uh, eating meat or to downsize the meat on, on your plate. And the more we do now, the cheaper it will cost. And the more we wait, the, the more expensive it will cost to, to stop the negative impact of climate change. They must stop the overconsumption they must be brave enough to come out of their comfort zone. This isn't a question of giving up paradise. This is a question of giving up a very dangerous, dirty path and going on to a much more attractive one. Les scientifiques, eux, donnent le diagnostic. Ils savent pourquoi le climat se réchauffe. Ils savent pourquoi les glaciers reculent. Mais ce qu'il faut maintenant, c'est une prise de conscience de la société et des mesures politiques, rapidement, sans attendre. Too much I see people in, in, uh, stuck in dialogues and battles and, and uh, negotiations forever and ever and ever. We don't have the time. We have between 10 and 15 years within which to address the very serious issues of climate change, of the loss of ecosystems and of the destruction of biodiversity. Without these, there is no life on Earth. Climate chaos in the South, the victim's story, continues to be shown to audiences in countries around the world. For more details about this documentary and screenings, please visit www.climatechaos.be. We thank director Heert de Belder, the film crew, and all involved in the production of Climate Chaos in the South, the victim's story for a film that touches our hearts and informs our minds while inspiring us to make the more than worthwhile lifestyle changes that will save lives. May all of us world citizens awaken now to adopt the simplest and most effective change of all, a meat-free lifestyle, and thus preserve our planet and all precious co-inhabitants. Thank you for your presence on today's enlightening entertainment. Please now join us for Words of Wisdom up next after noteworthy news here on Supreme Master Television. May our world be blessed with grace and protection. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash ee 